Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install PyCharm on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started. So first of all, what you need to install PyCharm is obviously Python. And Python comes pre-installed on your latest version of Ubuntu operating system. So in order to check it, you can uh, just uh, open the terminal and then type Python 3 here and then press enter. And you can see this is the version which is installed on my Ubuntu operating system. So let me minimize this terminal and let's see how we can install PyCharm on Ubuntu. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for PyCharm here. And the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm. So we are going to click on this link. And now once you are on this jetbrains.com website, you will be able to see this PyCharm icon here and you will be able to see this kind of download now button. So you just need to click on this download now button. So here you can see Linux is automatically selected because this website has already detected that we are working on a Linux operating system. So it automatically selects Linux for us. And once we scroll down here, you will be able to see two options to download and install PyCharm. One is the professional version and the other is the community version. The community version is free and open source, which means you don't need to pay anything to use it. The professional version comes with more features, but you need to buy this from JetBrains. So for now, I want to install the community version of PyCharm. So I will just click on the downloads button under the community section. And this is going to start the download of this PyCharm community dot tar dot gz file so i'm going to save it on my ubuntu operating system so now this tar dot gz file is downloaded on my ubuntu operating system so i'm going to just go to the location where it's downloaded and you can see this python community tar dot gz file is downloaded on our system so to untar this tar dot gz file you can just right click here and then you can say extract here you can also use the tar command to untar this file. So once you have extracted this directory from your tar file, you just need to go inside it and you will be able to see this kind of folder structure here. Now the file we are interested in is inside this bin directory. So we are going to go inside this bin directory and the file in which we are interested in is called pycharm.sh. So we need to run this file in order to install PyCharm. So in order to run this file, you can open your terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T and your terminal will open. So first of all, we are going to CD to our downloads folder where we have extracted this star file and I'm going to do LS here and you can see uh, we need to go inside this PyCharm community directory. So I'm going to once again CD PyCharm community and then we need to go inside the bin directory inside this PyCharm community directory. So now I am in the bin directory of this PyCharm community directory. So I'm going to just give the ls command to list out all the files here and this is the file which we want to run. So to run this file you need to just write dot forward slash PyCharm dot sh and then press enter which is going to run the PyCharm installer. So once you run this PyCharm.sh file, you can see the installation of PyCharm will start. And the first question it asks us is whether we want to import any settings from the previous installation of PyCharm or not. So we don't have any previous version of PyCharm. So I will leave this as default, which is do not import settings and click OK. And let me minimize this terminal also and this directory also. And you can see the installation of PyCharm has been started. And here you need to read these license terms and conditions from JetBrains. And if you agree with all these license terms and conditions, you can click on the accept button. And now you will see this data sharing window. I will just say don't send. And on this window, which says customize PyCharm, you get to choose the theme which you want for your PyCharm. 
so by default this dark color theme is selected if you want the IntelliJ theme you can just select it from here or GTK plus theme you can select from here so I'm going to choose the IntelliJ theme and now I will click launcher script which is the next button on this next window you will see this create launcher script option and the default path for that is this one so I'm going to leave everything as default and I will click next here and these are all the featured plugins which you can install but for now I don't want to install any plugin I will just say start using PyCharm and click this button which is going to start the PyCharm. So now PyCharm has been started on my Ubuntu operating system. So in order to create a new Python project, you can click on the create new project. And here you just need to give the name of your project at the end. So let me name my project as hello world. And I'm going to just click on create. And now my project has been created. And the first thing I see here is this option which says welcome to PyCharm which is the tip of the day. I'm going to close this window and you can see on the left hand side this hello world project is created. So now we are going to create a .py file which is a python file by right clicking on our project and then new and then select python file and here you need to give any name to your file. So I'm going to name my file as hello and you don't need to give any extension here because you have chosen python file the PyCharm will automatically add this .py extension to this hello file. So I'm going to click on OK and you can see this hello.py file is created for us. So let me maximize this uh, IDE and now let's print something. So I'm going to just write print and inside the parenthesis let's print hello world. So I'm going to just write in between the double quotes hello world. And if you see this warning which says no Python interpreter configured for the project, you can just click on uh, this link which says configure Python interpreter. And from here you can choose the Python interpreter which is by default in my case Python 3.6 which comes pre-installed on my Ubuntu operating system. So you can choose the version of Python which is installed on your Ubuntu operating system and then just click apply and then click OK. So once this Python interpreter is set for your Python project, you can just right click on this uh, hello.py file and then choose this option which says run hello. So I'm going to just click on this option which says run hello, which is going to run your Python script. Now after running your Python script for the first time, you will be able to see this green button now. So once again, whenever you want to run your uh, Python script, you can press this green button from here now also. So let me modify this hello world script to test and then I'm going to click on this button and now it prints this string once again, which I have written here. Now one last thing which I want to show here is when I close my PyCharm and I will press exit here, you can see here there is no PyCharm icon on this launcher bar. So how to add this PyCharm shortcut to this launcher. So once again, go to the terminal where you have run your PyCharm.sh file and we are going to run this PyCharm.sh file once again. And let me minimize this terminal and you can see PyCharm is restarting now. So once the PyCharm is restarted, what you need to do is you need to select this option which says tool and then select this option which says create desktop entry and now just check this checkbox which says create the entry for all users and then click OK which is going to ask for your Ubuntu's password. So I'm going to give my Ubuntu's password and then authenticate and once you see this message which says desktop entry is created you can once again close your PyCharm IDE and you can see still this PyCharm icon is not there. So you just need to click on show applications button and you can see this PyCharm icon here. If you don't see this PyCharm icon, you can also search for this PyCharm icon by searching for PyCharm in this search bar. And now just right click on this PyCharm icon and then click on add to favorites. So once you click on add to favorites and once you come out of this activities window, 
you will be able to see this pie charm icon is added to your favorites which means you will be able to see this pie charm icon on this left bar so this is how you can install pie charm on your ubuntu operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video i will see you in the next video